Hello viewers, welcome to Physics with Sanmitra. I am Sanmitra Bhomik and today we are learning the this is the lecture 2 of Special Theory of Relativity. Special Theory of Relativity. And this is the very basic or very introductory lecture on STR that is the Special Theory of Relativity. And we are just discussing the basic points and we will just show you how things are turning up. Okay. Now let's start here. Let me uh, okay. Let's see what special theory of relativity states. It is the first postulate of special theory of relativity. So postulates of STR. Okay, the first postulate of STR states that. all inertial frames all inertial frames are equivalent for all experiment all inertial frames are equivalent for all experiment no experiment can measure absolute velocity. This actually means that all uniform motions are relative. That means everything is relative to each other. There is nothing that is absolute to each other. But the second postulate says something else. The second postulate says that Maxwell's equation Maxwell's equation and speed of light and speed of light must be same for all observer the first postulate stated that the inertial frames are equivalent for all experiment okay all inertial frames are equivalent for all experiment but the second one states that the Maxwell's equations and speed of light must be same for all observer okay let me show you with an example suppose this is say m1 there is a man first man and this is m2 m1 m2 is walking towards m1 with a velocity of 10 meter velocity of 3 meter per second and M M1 is walking towards M2 with a velocity of 2 meter per second now what is velocity of M2 with respect to M1 that is very simple M2 is walking towards M1 the speed that is 3 plus, 3 plus 2 or rather 3 minus of minus 2 that is 5 meter per second if I assume this this person is at rest he will see this person moving towards him at a speed of 5 meter per second but let's see another example this is person M this person is and here is a light source here is a light source let's see this light source is light is being emitted here at a speed of C C is 3 into 10 to the power almost 8 meter per second there is actually 2.997 but we are not we are just assuming C now this person is moving towards the light source at a velocity of V so what is the now I am I need to find this is the velocity of light velocity of VL with respect to this man so according to the laws of classical physics what we can do is that we can do C minus of minus V that is C plus V but actually that is not true velocity of light with respect to man that is also c so the speed of light is independent of the frame that means it has an absolute frame this speed of light will consider an absolute frame for it will consider an absolute frame for this so we will not apply the relative frame now i think this much is clear 
speed of uh, the th special theory of relativity str abolishes the idea of absolute space we will understand this thing later when we learn time dilation and length contraction absolute space but leaves the origin of inertial frame unexplained that means it is telling that all it is telling that all inertial frames are equivalent for all experiment but it is not explaining how these inertial frames are coming that it is leaving the origin of inertial frames unexplained okay so that's all for this video and if you like our content then please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon thank you